Toby is a tram engine. He has cow catchers and side plates, and he doesn't look like a steam engine at all. He takes trucks from farms and factories to the main line. Toby rings his bell cheerfully to everyone he meets. He has a coach called Henrietta, who has seen better days. It's not fair at all. I remember the day when I used to be full of passengers and have nine trucks following behind me. But now, there are only three or four. Because now the farms and factories sent their goods, mostly by lorry. The cars, buses and lorries often have accidents. Toby hasn't had an accident for years. One day, two ladies, a stout gentleman, and a little boy ran across to Toby. The gentleman looked important, but nice. Oh, come on, Grandfather! Oh, come, Grandfather! Do look at this engine! Well, 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 well! That's a tram engine, Stephen, a tram engine. Oh, may we go in it, Grandfather? Oh, please, may we go in, please. Oh, very well. All right. And the stout gentleman and his family went for a ride to the junction. By the way, um... What is your name, hmm? Oh, uh, uh, Toby, sir. Oh, Toby, is it? Well, um, thank you, Toby. Thank you very much for a very nice ride. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you very much indeed, sir. Now, this gentleman is a gentleman who knows how to speak to engines. The children came every day for the fortnight. Sometimes they rode with a guard, sometimes in empty trucks, and on the last day of all, the driver invited them into his cab. All were sorry when they had to go away. Stephen and Bridget said, Thank you, thank you very much indeed, to Toby, his driver, his fireman, and the guard. The stout gentleman gave them all a present, and Toby said, Oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Don't forget, come again soon. Oh, we will. We will. Goodbye. Goodbye. And they waved until Toby was out of sight. The months passed. Toby had very few trucks and fewer passengers. Well, this is our last day, Toby. The manager says we must close tomorrow. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And he went off unhappily to sleep.
Next morning, the shed doors were flung open, and Toby woke with a start to see his fireman dancing a jig outside. The driver was very excited and waving a piece of paper. Wake up, Toby, me boy! Wake up and listen to this. It's a letter from the stout gentleman. Toby listened. 